After the debate that has swirled around the country over Adani and their growing investments, Azimio leader Raila Odinga has broken in silence over the matter. In the field of infrastructure. On Sunday after the ODM delegates meeting, Odinga threw his weight behind the Indian company, which he termed as reputable and has interacted with them on basis of good standing and the quality of delivery done by the company across India and the world. This is a, a reputable company, in my knowledge. But this company actually has done very many PPP projects. I mentioned that uh, we visited India, the invitation of then Chief Minister of State of Gujarat, Narendra Modi, and he introduced us to several Indian uh, conglomerates. Sadani was one of them, and was Mr. Ratan Tata, uh, who was also there at the, the conference that we attended. And then we visited a project that was done uh, through a PPP by Adani in a place called Mundra. This was a, a marsh land next to the sea, 5,000 uh, 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 5, uh, hectares of land, which was granted to the Adanis by the government of uh, Mr. Modi. They drained the swamp and constructed a deep sea port. According to the former premier, the misinformation about the Indian company and any other international investment company could seclude the country and scare away investors who in turn could opt to invest in the neighboring countries who equally require investors. Have years that the country is currently undergoing serious financial gap that can only be filled through investments. Given the current financial status of the country, PPP is the only way out of cash incentive projects for these projects. If we plant doubts in our capacity to handle the PPPs, we must be prepared for a prolonged period of development drought and risk being overtaken by our neighbors. The Adani Group have taken over the country by storm and have expressed interest in upgrading of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport have been mentioned under the health sector with the rollout of SHIF. And on Friday, the government announced that the country has signed a deal between Ketrako and Adani. Ongoing energy and airport projects, therefore, present a critical test that could make or break our ability to compete in the field of infrastructure development for a considerable period. I urge all agencies concerned to address all the concerns raised by Kenyans on these projects and ensure that we do not spook foreign capital away from the Kenyan economy. As per the former premier, Adani expressed interest in the country over a decade ago, but the absence of a legal framework hindered further involvement. Odinga reveals that laws governing public-private partnership were based on those of India, but maintained that a lot need to be done to attract investor confidence. I'm likely to try to condemn very reputable companies, as you see stories like Adani Gate. Adani, Adani company, conglomerate is worth over $200 billion. It cannot be an Adani Gate. De deal with the issues as they are. If some people have made mistakes, let them own up that they made some mistakes. But do not begin to condemn innocent companies who are basically doing a normal commercial transaction. While acknowledging the need for investor profits, Odinga emphasized the importance of safeguarding national interests such as labor laws, environmental protection and Kenyan courts jurisdiction in disputes. Raila also urged all stakeholders to avoid politicizing the issue and instead focus on keeping Kenya competitive in attracting foreign capital to fund its infrastructure needs. The Adani Group, an Indian conglomerate, has proposed investing approximately $1.84 billion to expand and modernize Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKIA. The proposal submitted under the public-private partnership PPP model seeks to allow Adani to improve airport facilities, such as the construction of a new terminal, taxiways, 
and related infrastructure. Odinga's comments are coming at a time that the courts ruled on matters privatization, especially touching on KICC, where it was termed as a national monument. In a case filed by Odinga's ODM party, at a time the party was not enjoying collaboration with Kenya Kwanza government. There is no way one generation of greedy leaders can decide to sell national assets without reference to the people. Odinga himself has been against privatization of the country's institutions. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.